Hey guys, this video is to give you a few pointers on how to take your preoperative x-rays. I know it seems pretty straightforward, but there are a few things that you can run into that can make this process a little frustrating. So first we're going to start out by just reminding you that whenever you're doing a root canal, you want to do two preoperative periapical radiographs. Okay, so you want to start with one that's straight on and then you want to adjust it and take a second one that's at a different angle. So I'm going to have my assistant Michelle here show you exactly what that means. Alright, so when you're first putting the sensor in the patient's mouth, you're going to want to make sure when they bite down on the sensor that there's no flex in that PA. Okay, and then your assistant's going to want to take a straight angle first. When they go to take the second angle, you're going to want to make sure that they make a very strong movement either to the mesial or to the distal of the tooth in order to get another angle. Okay, so what you want to make sure is that when the patient is biting down that the sensor is not flexing like this because this will move the sensor all the way to a different angulation and now the angulation of your cone will not match up with the angulation of your sensor and you'll get a change in your vertical angulation which will cause your tooth to be a little bit foreshortened or a little bit elongated and that will definitely distort the pulp chamber and you want to make sure that you have good visualization of the pulp chamber. And the idea of having two angles will just show you different superimpositions of the tooth itself. So again, the idea is to get a full visualization of the tooth itself. Now, so the other thing you want to keep in mind when you're taking a periapical radiograph is that if you have cut off the apex, you want to make sure that you move your sensor. So you move the sensor in the direction that you need to grab that image of. So if, it's, if you're doing a maxillary tooth, you want to make sure that that sensor goes more um, apical in this direction. And then if you're doing a mandibular, you want to make sure that it goes more apical in this direction. So when you are doing your x-rays and you run into that problem where you've cut off part of the tooth that you really need to see, you want to move the sensor in that direction. So there's there's really only two things you need to adjust. It's either your sensor or your tube head. And in that case, you want to adjust your sensor. Now, if you have a cone cut on your image, you want to move the tube head. So you always want to move your tube head in the direction of the cone cut. So if it's a mesial cone cut, you'll move your tube head in a mesial direction. So you'll take it from here to over there. And if it's the distal, you'll take it from here to over there. The next thing you want to do is make sure you take a very important bite wing. The bite wing is there to help you make sure that there's no referred pain lingering around. So when you're taking your bite wing, make sure that you get equal amounts of the maxillary and the mandibular teeth. And you always want to see if there's any possibility of another tooth in the opposing arch that really could also be the culprit tooth. Okay, so to wrap that up, you want to make sure you take two periapical radiographs. You want to make sure that, that you're changing the angulation in that tube head pretty drastically. You don't want to make it such a small change. You want to make sure you have some good movement in that so you get two definitely different angles of your x-rays. You also want to keep an eye out on the flexion of the sensor because that could change your vertical angulation and then you can't see the pulp chamber in the tooth. If you want to troubleshoot any x-ray at any time, there's really only two things that you could possibly fix. First is your sensor, second is your angulation of your tube head. So if you've cut off your apex, you always want to adjust your sensor. So, or if you are too distal and you meant to go mesial, you want to adjust the sensor. So if you didn't grab the tooth in your picture at all, you want to adjust the sensor in the area that you need to get in that image, okay? If you have a cone cut, then you've got to change your tube head angulation and you always want to make sure that you move the tube head into the direction of the cone cut. And last but not least, you want to take your handy dandy bite wing because your bite wing is going to help you rule out any referred pain. You want to make sure that you get a good picture equal amounts of the maxillary teeth and equal amounts of the mandibular teeth in that image so you can really see if there's any other opportunity for pain or infection in a tooth in the opposing arch. That's a really great tip and I hope that you're adding a bite wing to all of your preoperative workups. That's it. I want you guys to have a little fun with that and make sure you do that on every single patient. See you in the next video.